An entirely new season of content is live in the world of Destiny 2. We've got the return of Osiris, an old fan favorite and Saint-14 himself. We've got the new six-man activity, the sundial on Mercury, and even more. But in this issue of the Bungie Weekly Blog, This Week at Bungie, for the week of December 12th, 2019, we're learning a bit more about what's going to be coming next. Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and we're here to talk about this week's news. Now, of course, we did have a major patch update go into effect this week. We got patch notes earlier in the week, and as usual, it always follows that the TWAB immediately before or after a gigantic patch usually doesn't have the most information in it. Thankfully, this TWAB is talking about some pretty cool things that got added this week. Of course, with Season of Dawn going live, we've got a bunch of brand new content, including some brand new exotics for all three of the major classes. And if you haven't had a chance to pick some of those up, we get a nice preview of what some of that exotic armor looks like in this week's TWAB. For Hunters, these are going to be the new exotic hunter boots, the Bombardiers. They come with the ability Parting Gift, dodging leaves behind an explosive that detonates after a short delay, damaging enemies around it. If you've been paying attention on Twitter, this is the thing you've probably been seeing in a lot of clips. I know our buddy Cool Guy has been putting a couple up. He likes these things. Basically taking your class ability and adding a little bit of explosive oomph to it. Next up, for the Warlocks, we've got the Prometheum Spur, also known as What Are Those? These things come with Embers of Light. While Daybreak is active, defeating combatants or guardians creates a healing and empowering rift at their location. This is actually a pretty cool ability. I actually already have these things. It's pretty helpful to drop those rifts all over the place. At least for your teammates or if you need like kind of an emergency landing spot if you're in a hectic situation and you happen to panic pop your super. But for the most part, it's kind of hard to convince me to move away from other exotics right now like Claws of Amkara, Sun Bracers, or even the good old Luna Faction Boots. But who knows, as I take more time to play with these things, maybe I'll learn to love them even more. And finally, for Titans, we've got the new exotic Titan chess piece, the Severance Enclosure. This comes with the special ability, Spheromatic Trigger. Defeating a Guardian with a melee attack or a combatant with a finisher unleashes a damaging explosion. Yeah, y you know what that means. Shoulder charge, explosions in PvP. It's hilarious and it's ridiculous and it's exactly what I would expect from Titans out there. If you guys have gotten your hands on any of these exotics, how do you feel about them? Let me know down in the comment section below. Like I said, all I've got is the Warlock boots. And other than looking kind of funky, I haven't really gotten too much of a feel for them yet. But I guess I don't have to worry about that too much because I'm going to have plenty of time to get acquainted with them next week when the dawning itself goes live. That's right, the Destiny 2 Winter Event is coming back starting next week, December 17th, beginning at 9 a.m. Pacific and going until January 14th, right on into the new year. And this is the real big bit of news we got today. Of course, Bungie went live with the Dawning trailer earlier today, and they put up a neat little website to kind of explain how the Dawning is going to work this time around. If you were around last year to play the Dawning, the event is going to be very similar to that. You'll be tasked with baking cookies and goodies for all your favorite and not-so-favorite vendors across the Destiny system. They go on to note that all of Ava's ingredients and cookies returned from last year's event, but they also added some new ingredients and recipes and made some improvements to the baking process. For each batch of cookies delivered, you'll gain progress towards bounties and rewards for some seasonal cheer. But it's not just a return to form this time around. We've got some new things to earn in this year's dawning. This year, Ava has a new SMG for you to bake, the Cold Front. Additionally, if you missed out on the perfect roll for the machine gun avalanche from last year, it's now your time to shine. Both of those weapons will be available to earn throughout the entire event. So if you missed out on the avalanche, which was the dawning exclusive machine gun from last year's event, you're going to have a chance to earn that this time around. And you'll be earning that right alongside the new SMG. And of course, as is the case with any event in the world of Destiny 2, you're going to have plenty of new glamour items to farm out from Eververse. There's going to be new armor sets, new ghost shells, new ships, and new sparrows. And don't worry if your bright dust is feeling a little bit low right now. They went on to note that weekly and repeatable dawning bounties will also be granting bright dust, giving you more sources of this currency for new items on the Eververse storefront. 
And as a matter of fact, basically everything that's going to be dropping with the dawning will be made available for Bright Dust in one way or another, except one thing. One item will be costing silver only. It's the brand new Perfect 10 Finisher. So if you enjoy kicking robots in the face with ice skates, you'll have to pick this up with the purchase of silver in the Eververse store. But there we go. Honestly, I don't have too much of a problem with that at all. If you're a newer player to Destiny 2, here's the way that the donning itself worked. When you log in next Tuesday, you're going to make your way to Ava. She's going to give you a holiday oven. And you'll utilize that oven to bake goodies that you can hand over to vendors across the system. And you'll pick up the ingredients for those goodies by taking out enemies and completing bounties that Ava's going to have for you. Last year, basically every enemy type had a specific ingredient tied to them. So the more of them you took out, the more of that type of ingredient you got. And then you could mix and match different ingredients to make different items. And then, of course, you could deliver those goodies to the different vendors who are all over the place completing dawning bounties while you go. This, of course, is going to be a free event available to anyone who owns Destiny 2. No season pass required. And with the event lasting until January 14th, 2020, you'll have plenty of time to farm up the brand new Cold Front SMG. Here's hoping we can get some decent rolls of this thing. Since I'm sure there'll be some kind of curated version of it first, but we should be able to roll random rolled versions of it just like we could with the Avalanche after that. But all right, Guardians, that's it for the dawning. We'll have more news covering that as the event goes live next week. Now, the last real big thing to talk about in this week's TWAB is, of course, the notion of the season pass, specifically last season's pass. As the TWAB says, if you found yourself in a mad dash to finish your season of the Undying Triumphs and forgot to pick up a few of your season track rewards, well, Bungie's got great news for you. They created a new portal on the season's webpage at Bungie.net that grants access to your season pass rewards track. Any items you earned will be available to claim, even if a season is ended. Meaning, if there was something you forgot to pull from last season's track, maybe you forgot to pull an exotic engram or two, by following the steps here, you can head over to Bungie's official Seasons page, access last season's pack, and redeem the rewards that you earned while that season was live. You simply need to sign into Bungie.net or into the Destiny Companion app, head to the previous season webpage, which we'll have a link to down in the description box below, select your platform and character, pick up any items that you're missing, and repeat for any alternate characters that may have missed their items. This is fantastic. I previously reported that like that stuff was going to be gone after the season of The Undying ended, so I'm really glad that Bungie went back and found a way to keep that kind of thing open for people who may not have had time to go and pick up the rewards that they had earned on the season pass track. Awesome to see. Good on them for that. But all right, there we go. That's pretty much it for the biggest bits of news to drop in this week's issue of the Bungie Weekly blog, This Week at Bungie. They go on to talk a bit about some bug fixes that are going to be going into effect. Of course, you might have seen that the Dynamo perk has been disabled because it's a little bit busted right now. They know that they are working on getting some fixes out as quickly as they can. But that's pretty much going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. That's the news. Those are my thoughts. Be sure to leave me yours down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But I'm out for now. As always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty. And I'll see you all in the dawning next week.